Hey friends, this is Pastor Joel coming to you on a Wednesday afternoon. You know, a few years back, I was watching a TV show in which a couple was looking for a house to purchase. As they analyzed the pros and cons of a particular home, I, I vividly recall the husband saying, but one of the negatives about this house is that we can see our neighbors. Needless to say, the couple ended up rejecting that house for something that was more secluded. Now, I'm guessing that most of you viewing this recording can see your neighbors from your house. Hopefully, many of you even know your neighbors. That said, the trend in our society in recent decades has unmistakably been toward increasing isolation. Virtual friendships have replaced embodied friendships. Working together as a team under one roof has been replaced with telecommuting. Inviting friends or neighbors over for a meal has been replaced with spending nights binging Netflix or gaming or getting in a few more hours of work. You know, it's been challenging for me to find many positive effects of the recent coronavirus outbreak. But one positive is this. We have all been reminded that embodied relationships matter. Physical proximity matters. Being with other people in person matters. And if we're honest, some of us had forgotten just how important embodied presence is, but no longer. You know, the gospel of Jesus Christ proves that embodied presence matters. You say, how does it do that, Joel? Because in the gospel, God the Son the second person of the Trinity became embodied for us in Jesus Christ. You see, if being embodied, if being a physical being, if this mattered so much to God that he would become human for us, it should be no surprise that being embodied, that embodied presence matters to those who have been created in God's image. And so in light of this truth, my encouragement to you is twofold. First, rest assured that it is okay for you to miss seeing other people in person. Far from being a sign of weakness, this is a sign that what matters to God, namely embodied presence with those he loves, what matters to God also matters to you. And second, take comfort, friends. Take comfort that the same Jesus who John 1 tells us became flesh and dwelt among us, that same Jesus, Jesus is present with you now in this season of social distancing, but also unto the end of the age. He is with you at all times and in all places. God bless you, friends. Take care.